In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up business policies and seller profiles and use them with Hydrolister. So if you had previously opted out of business policies or if you don't have business policies and are interested in using them, you'll want to navigate to this link. It's www.bizpolicy.ebay.com slash business policy slash policy opt-in. I'll put the link, the link to this um, under the video. Okay, so once you're on this page, if you want it to opt into business policies, all you'll do is read over this information. It will explain to you the purpose of business policies. There are three types of policies, payment policies, shipping policies, and return policies. And basically, these are the same settings you normally do with eBay. Um, it's just that you're able to create different profiles, which will help you when you're listing items from different suppliers. And let's say one, you can use a one day handling time on another, you know, that that supplier has five business day handling time or three, you can toggle between profiles and, uh, it makes handling that and also moving items from one policy to another for whatever reason, it makes that easier. So, um, basically this uh, explains more about it. You can do a tutorial right here and also note right here, they tell you that business policies are not available in other listing tools. You get it first with Hydrolister. Um, actually they developed this like overnight. <laughs> um, so what you'll want to do is click the try now button. Okay. And then it will take you to business policies and what you'll see is a blank page. If you already are opted into business policies, it will list the policies that you currently have here. Or if you've used business policies in the past and are opting in again, it will show the policies that you have. So basically I'm just going to click, since there's none here, I'm going to click create policy. I'm going to do a payment policy. Okay. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say PayPal immediate payments. Okay. And to make things easier on myself for the description, I'm just going to copy that and put it in the policy description. You're going to hit set as default payment policy. If this is going to be your default, that's fine. Um, the method of payment, I'm going to choose PayPal and then I'm going to enter the PayPal email address here and require immediate payment since that's what I'm doing in this policy. I'm not going to check any of the other options because I don't handle any of those things and then hit save. Okay. So that created one payment policy. Now let's say I wanted another payment policy. Okay. I could call it PayPal. No immediate payment. Okay. And that will make it so that um, this policy I'm going to set up so that I don't have to require immediate payment for the uh, transaction. So you'll just hit, you'll check off the PayPal, hit put in your email address, your PayPal email address. And since this one is not requiring immediate payment, I'm going to leave that box unchecked. I'm going to hit save. Okay, so now you can see I have two different payment policies. All right, now I'm going to create a return policy and we'll say, I'm just going to be very generic. I'm going to say returns accepted 30 days, copy. I'm going to put that in the policy description. I'm going to set this as my default. And then here you see, these are the same settings that you normally do when you do a listing. I'm going to click returns accepted 30 days. Um, you know, you can do 30 days, 14 days, whatever it is you want. Select the type of refund that will be given. Who pays the shipping? Do you charge a restocking fee? Put that there. And you can make any details about your return policy that you want here. So I can say items must be returned in new unused condition with all original packaging and packing materials. Buyer pays return 
shipping and 15% restocking fee applies. Whatever it is you want to say here, you can go ahead and type that out and the buyers will see that and it'll be marked in your listing. So hit save. So there is a return policy. Okay. Now let's just say I have some items. I'll be listing some items that I will not be able to accept return on like personal care items or things like that. So I will go ahead and do return policy. I'm going to say no returns accepted. And I will change this to no returns accepted. And you can do as many policies to fit as many different scenarios as you like. So I'll say no returns accepted, hit save. Okay, so now you see I have two different return policies. One says no returns accepted, one says returns accepted 30 days. All right. Um, lastly, you'll need to create shipping policies. So I'll hit shipping. Now me personally, I have, I want to say 10 to 15 different policies. You can do whatever it is you want to do. Um, so I'll just put uh, standard. No, I'll just, I'll call this default. Um, and I'll put three day handling. Um, standard shipping. Okay. So I'll just copy that and you can make, you don't have to make these exactly the same as this. They're going to be whatever you want them to be. So I just want to emphasize that. I don't want anybody to just copy these things and say, well, you know, Misha said, <laughs> make my, my policies this. Um, so hit standard shipping. I'll do free. And handling time, I'll select this three business days. Uh, if you participate in global shipping, you can check that here. So then I can say, actually, am I with GSP? There you go. That's good. So with GSP, because you might have some items that you know you can send to the global shipping center, and you'll have some items that you can't ship to the global shipping center, and that's if you even use global shipping. But Hydrolista will give you the ability to use your return, I mean, your your business policies to uh, mark individual items with these settings. So I'll go ahead and leave this one as, uh, as with global shipping. I have my shipping exclusions already here. If you need to edit this, you can and hit save. Okay. So another cool feature is that you have ability to copy a policy. So let's just say I don't want to have to go through all of this all over again. I can just hit copy policy. It pops it up. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to change this from default to just three day handling. And I'm going to say no global shipping. I'm going to copy that here and put that in the title here for the policy name. Everything else is going to be the same. Only on this one, I'm going to uncheck global shipping. And I'm going to save. Okay. So, you know, I've got a combination of three day handling items. I've got five day handling. I've got standard shipping, economy shipping. I've got uh, policies for top rated um, for items that I know I can ship out within one business day. I have policies for that. I have policies for freight. I'll show you a freight one. So if I wanted to create a shipping policy for freight, it's another good one. Freight. Okay, so where it says U.S. shipping, I'm going to change this to freight. And this is going to be your large items, uh, patio furniture, etc. So I'm going to hit other freight service. And that's it. And my shipping exclusions still apply. I'm going to hit save. Okay, so there are your policies. And that's how you go ahead and set them up. So you want to give them names that are relevant and easy for you to identify. If you already have policies here, it's easy to rename them. All you have to do is click them or click edit. It takes you to the same place and you can rename them right here. It's important to rename them. Um, that way, like I said, it's easy for you to identify once you're in Hydrolister. So that's how you create your policies. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to set it up in Hydrolister. So in Hydrolister, when you 
go to your settings. So you'll just go to settings, either US or UK, depending on what platform you're selling on. You're going to look for country. Okay, right under your country is an option that says use seller profiles. You're going to change this to yes. Okay. And once you change it to yes, you'll notice you three little boxes popped up. Okay. It says choose the seller profile, return profile, and shipment profile. These are going to be your defaults. So I will pick which one I want to be default for each. Now, if they're not all here, you can hit, um, get update profiles. All right. And that's going to pull them all in. So now you'll notice before I didn't have anything here in return policy profile. Now I do. So I will go ahead and hit returns accepted as my default and my default, as you can see, like I told you, I have a whole bunch of different policies. Um, as you can, so let's see, I'll pick, uh, let's see five business days standard with global shipping. Okay. And I'll use that as my default overall. Now, keeping in mind that you can change this on an individual basis when you do single item listings. All right. So now that I've saved the settings, I can go ahead and list a single item. I'll just show you that. So let's pick an item here. I'm just going to pick something random. No, not so random. It's going to be so easy. Okay. So I have a supplier URL right here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to take a look at when this particular supplier says it will be delivered. So looking at this, uh, as you can see down here, it's June 24th. I pull up the calendar and this is how I would do my listing. I would say, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven business days in between now and when they say it should be delivered. So I feel that, uh, three or five business day handling time would be sufficient on this with standard shipping. So, that's going to be the policy that I use when I list this item. So I'm going to grab the URL here. I'm going to go over to Hydra Lister, paste the URL in. I'm going to take out everything behind the supplier URL um, that starts with a question mark. All that stuff is not needed. So I put in my URL. Okay. And as you can see, uh, when you first come to the listing, it asks you, do you want to use the seller profile? It's defaulted to yes, because that's what you had in your settings and your defaults are already here. Now let's say I wanted to change it. Um, I did say that I would do a five business day handling. That's fine. Um, let's just say I want to change it to three. So I'll do a three business day, uh, handling with standard shipping. I'm going to put no global because I know that that item is probably a little heavy. All right. So I'm going to pick this particular policy and change that for this particular item. Uh, if you don't see what you want here, you can always click get update profiles and select from the new options. All right. And that's it. I would just list the item. You know, you can do whatever editing you want and then list the item. not really going to go through the mechanics of doing a listing because that's covered in the single item listing video. All right. So now you see that the item was listed. It will be exported into skew grid within 15 minutes because I have skew grid integrated with my hydro lister. Um, you will notice you will get this little warning message and it, it just simply says, warning PayPal method added PayPal added as a payment method because you set your preference to offer PayPal on all listings. Uh, the information you provided is outdated and will be ignored. Um, 
you can just pretty much ignore that. It doesn't mean anything. As long as you see this here item was listed, that's all you need to know. Okay, so that's how you use seller profiles with Hydrolister.